hello and welcome back guys to the channel i am having some life difficulties this day and i will be not much active in this day but i will be back uh, uploading as normal as soon as i get things sorted out of my way today i want to talk about christianity and how islam view it the general idea of christianity in the islam is that allah sent jibril the angel jibril to blow on Maryam vagina so she get pregnant with jesus christ and it was a miracle and uh, jesus when he born he spoke with his mother and his uh, people the day he was born then allah sent to him a book called injil keep that in mind the quran said in chapter 5 verse 46 let the people of Injil judge by what Allah has revealed therein. Here mean therein this word Injil is the, the book or, or the Bible referred to in the Quran by an Injil. This word here Injil is an ancient Greek word from Evangelion or Evangelios bring a good news from a good or Evangelios. But Jesus grew up in a Galilee in a city called Galilee and much of his okay. ministry uh, took work. place there all his work all his thing he do he took place there the language spoken in galilee and uh, judy during the first century ad including jewish palestinian aramic hebrew and greek with aramic being the predominant there is a substantial consensus that uh, jesus gave most of his teaching in aramic in the galilee dialect my question here how come a jewish prophet sent to a jewish Jewish people who speak Hebrew and Aramic language sent uh, to him with a book titled in Greek. It's like you are from England and you speak English and God sends you to English people whom you speak uh, the language with them same language with a book title in Arabic. And this is what I call what is built in a false foundation is a false. Muhammad never understand how Christian believe and what he reached him about Christianity is uh, came from uh, the Christian translation of what have been written on Jesus life from the priest with the Greek language. Then this book was translated to the Syriac language and the uh, translation that uh, made before Muhammad was from the Syriac translation and it's called al pisita or al basita or al pishita which they forgot to translate the meaning of the word evangelion to the syriac language and they just put the word of injil but if muhammad was a little bit clever or understand anything about christianity at least he could name his book al bishara in hebrew al bishurat and in arabic as well al bishara mean the good news the conclusion here is that muhammad reached him him to many storage and translation to other books and he was confused how to arrange them together which make him confused and start spelling nonsense in the quran even the prescription of jesus crucifixion in the quran is vague and cannot be understood because if we are talking about a message from god to mankind and the crucifixion of jesus is a very important thing uh, to explain to us so he spent only one verse saying but they kill him not nor crucify him but it appear as that to them so you understand it uh, chapter 4 verse 157 but in other hand we have verses that uh, have been repeated twice and stories that be repeated constantly like moses story or haron i am sure we don't need all this repetition but we need a clear picture on what uh, the quran say neither the way that that Jesus was born is clear because the spirit in the Quran and the, in the Muslim belief is called Gabriel. So what Gabriel have to do with the spirit? Thank you guys for watching and see you again if it's possible.